This is Dr. Trashback back with the Malachi playthrough in Total War Warhammer 3. There's these little like high elf expeditions and if you click on that circle you go in and you can fight some high elves which is great because it's part of my mission to actually fight two of them. So I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to go all the way over to, what is it called, Avalor? Avalorian? Something like that. Actually decently far away. There's a lot of Norskin <laughs> armies and towns along the way, so it would take me a long time to get that done. So I guess this is a game mechanic to allow you to get some uh, some high elf enemy kills rather quickly. They have a lot of range, but they don't have any artillery, so I think we can outrange them pretty well. Ugh, they have this weird hill in between us and a lot of trees that is not ideal I'll do like a weird corner thing I think best thing I can think of alright just to kind of make sure we don't get um, flanked we'll do that Cool. All right, and then with our four wheelers, from right there, they can usually sneak in pretty well. All right, we'll have our um, flying units. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's their range. We'll have to be a little careful with our flying units because it could get um, focused down. All right, then we'll have these guys kind of like front line. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, go. Oh, here they come. my slayers Okay, they're kind of running. Nice, so he just got a lot faster. Alright, our flying units. Uh, they might be getting focused down there. Not ideal. Um. Okay, they're they're doing their thing. That's good. Oh yeah, I got this bad boy. Let's do that and freak him out.
Yeah, sometimes when the the battle is kind of close for them to lose their 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 leadership, you just put down the the thing of Grundy, and then that that's enough of a difference in terms of army power that they just kind of run away. So yeah, I just need to do one more battle like that, and then I think that will complete the uh, one of the mission. Excuse me, requirements. Or um, grape shot for the cannons. Yeah, now I know you want to start that mission quest as soon as possible because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things you got to do. Grudges must be paid in blood. You know the rules. Oh, okay. Was that it? A little bit of luck and a whole lot of black puda. Oh, okay. Unit experience for cannons increased. All right. That was one thing. Explosives expert. Explosive expert indeed. Um, weapon strength. Defense. Kind of doesn't need any of those. Um strength does that yeah that doesn't affect missile strength it's not like he's gonna get hit it's not like I'm gonna run out of ammo so I really don't know what I want there yeah I still haven't gotten big enough um We'll just we'll just go for that. Um, to get mentor, mentor would be pretty nice. More health points, more melee defense, passive ability, weapon strength for all of those people. Yeah, since I have so many slayers in my army, I think it's good to get that. Um, oh, flight simulator. Yeah, sure. We'll just. I like to buff everybody. It tends to be a bigger deal. I'm on it. He's on it. Doom's that away. Decisive victory. I don't think we need to fight that again. Let's just take it. Let's take the money. Nice. Cool. Growth control. Or, I mean, we have to go with the special Ulrika hero. Magdava. Oh, Ulrika who are you? Magdava. Holy shit. Okay. Raised in the saddle. Oh man, you have a lot of special things there. Okay. <laughs> My curse is strength. Um, what we're gonna do is. I refuse to be a monster. What? Engineer. Let me fight. I will track from the front. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll do that so that we can heal a little bit, and then we'll go right there to make sure that we heal but as close as we can to that city looks like we leveled up just great boom and then next we'll get to here cluster bomb ah, magic missile amazing A gift from himself. then you uh yeah probably just more health deadly onslaught perfect Probably more health for you. Oh, okay. Um, missile block chance for shield wielding individuals or more melee attack for non shielded. I don't see Slayer Pirates in there, but I'm going to assume that it's there. And I think that's a good buff. 
unfortunately. Um, we can cause terror and do worthy foe or slayer of legend. I want to grab that one first. That one looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh. What is this? So I can either be a tinkerer or demolitionist. Splash attack power, weapon strength, missile strength, or research rate. Ooh, research rate actually sounds pretty good. Speed range. Okay. Melee attack. That doesn't make sense. Speed, reload skill. Oh, out of melee. So that probably doesn't make sense for him. Armor, physical resistance. That wouldn't be bad. Armor, weapon, piercing damage. Make cover. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with Demolitionist. Uh, movement range is modified by an additional 10%. Oh, I didn't even see that part. Wow, okay. So now, I guess starting next turn, we're going to be able to move that much further. All right, for you... Yeah, you can only be one. Okay, campaign movement range by another 10%. Oh my goodness. Uh, a debuff. Very good. Vigor loss reduction. Hammer rhythm. Okay. Or... Oh, geez. There's, there's actually three choices, I'm assuming, here. Yeah. Or a uh, magic drop, drop chance. Okay. Uh-huh. More leadership lane. Uh, more armor, more leadership. Okay. Keeper of the forge. Control, flaming attacks. It says flaming attacks twice. Okay. Interesting. Uh, triggers when casting a rune. You do damage for everyone around you. Okay, fire resistance. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. As you're casting, you get some stuff. Um, Honestly, I kind of want this just for the extra movement distance. That sounds really good. All right, so now you're good to go. Uh, you're not ready to level up yet. Okay. You, however, probably have some level ups. Oh, I could do the deeps with you? Maybe. I don't see a reason not to. Okay. Um, I mean, we could grab these if we really wanted to, but I don't think we really need to. I mean, that's cheap. That's cheap. That's cheap. That's kind of expensive. Um, do we need a hero thing? A high king decree anywhere? I think so. So I think we're actually good to just go ahead and do that here. Boom. All right. Diggity. Um, and then, yeah, we can make you more tanky. We can give you more money. I think that's fine. Oh, apparently we're being attacked over here. Close victory? Yeah, I don't think we need to fight that. A little bit more elf gold, get a little bit more money. Uh, unfortunately, it still has a plague, which kind of sucks. But hey, we took out that guy there Innovator. and then you can grab some stuff okay oh does that take two population oh lame it's like i kind of want it but at the same time i want to get you leveled up quicker so that i can get these things yeah so i think i think i think we're gonna hold off here um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think we're going to hold off. Outpost available. Um. Yep, 
Yenich. Oaks Crad. Just Frog. Two K. Ah. Boom. Let's get it done. Okay. Spear on that move, don't care. Um Let's go ahead and finish these off just because we can. All right. Anyone wants to trade? No. I'm surprised the other dwarves don't want to trade with me. All right, we will finish the turn. I think next turn I can purchase, um, oh shoot, uh, I can purchase tier four, and I think it also, those are some main, um, some main, uh, the deeps buildings are going to come into play as well, so I think my economy is going to go up even more. Well, that's not ideal, Mr. Kislev. All right, cool. My sake, sir, pump. These goggles. All right, tier four, boom. The deep's income only fifty. I'm assuming uh, the extra trade will come into effect. Yeah, extra gemstones, extra iron, extra marble, extra elf gold. Call in the miners for armies and region. Nice. Okay. Now, if I take this over here, I'll have a full province. So I definitely want to do that. Decisive victory. I don't think I need to battle that. Boom. Occupy. Great. So now we will get that extra growth. We can remove that. Um, there we go. Oh, you could do the deeps with, uh, with little towns. I didn't even think about that. All right, cool. Um, now we'll go ahead and buy that. Go ahead and buy that. Oh, and what's over here? More control and reduced costs. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll do that for a hundred of gold. And now. I can do something down here. Oh, I don't have the money for pretty much anything. Um, income, post loot, leadership under siege. Yeah, we'll just we'll just wait then, and we'll do that another time. Um, we do want to check, see if there's any items here. Enchanted item. Engineer. Anyone need a enchanted oh, item? Oh, you do. What's this do? Spell resistance? Okay. Cool. Um, a talisman and armor. There you go. There's armor. And there's a talisman. Anyone else need a right. enchanted item? Okay. Cool. Followers. By Grimney, it's me. Uh, 
I mean, those aren't bad, but I don't think it's really needed. So, although what? we may have some new explosives expelled, unequipped. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that so that I can quickly I see. What? Yeah, he can take it, but he doesn't have any room right Engineer. now. Slayer, greatest inventor. All right. Okay, yeah, there you go. Cool. I'll figure it out. What? It's of magic. Interesting. Right, I'll tinker. All right, so we'll go over here and we'll just we'll just savage uh, salvage those. Cool. Innovator. And we got some levels from that. What? Cool. Cluster bombs. Better too late. Better guns. Oh. Getting towards uh kind of whatever's left now. Get a percentage. Make them more health, more tanky. Uh, really foe, I think, was a good one. Go ahead and grab that. Alrighty. Uh, that's right. You got some special things here: physical resistance, armor piercing, weapon damage. Uh, yeah, I think I think all those are really good. Ooh, river bend. Okay, so it's kind of like a hex. Vigor loss, hammer rhythm. Go with that. And then you, you're kind of, you're kind of new here. Oh, you're gonna be a caster. Okay. Well, that's gonna be interesting. I'll have a kind of like a mage in my, my army now. Okay, and then up north, it's all like I can't really um, grab their towns like I can, but it's going to be, you know, basically less of everything. So I'm going to leave them alone and hopefully they leave me alone. We will see. And I might be getting into the time period where it might be time to um, get a second army and take out um these rats deeps upgrade oh yeah i'm not i'm not ready uh to deal with that yeah you you still got two more turns um since i have a lot more trading resources now uh he's getting close he kind of wants to he kind of wants to trade. Yeah, he's getting more and more friendly. Um, I'm strength rank 54. He's two. Wow. And you're three. Way to go, dwarves. All right. That's awesome. I'm glad that my uh, dwarven brethren are uh, so healthy, if you will. All right, so unfortunately, looks like I need to go all the way over here to get to this. Uh, what else do I need? Fight one battle with Cav. I swear I've done that. But I need to go all the way over here, um, so I'll do that next turn. Start moving that way. Kind of surprised I I can't just teleport there. Um. Yeah. Settlement number five, recruit another additional hero, or excuse me, Lord, recruit another 30 units, legendary Lord, occupy and follow that one. Interesting. It's kind of far away, but then again, it kind of isn't. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, so I should have done that early on so I could take on that mission early on. Um, sad day. Um, I think that's it for this turn, so we'll go ahead and end our turn. Oh no, there goes Prag. Man, these Hell Pit Empire, I think they have like six armies right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll get we'll get more growth. That's always good. Caravan arrived! More money! Thank you! We'll always take more money. Um, okay, so I can get to right here. Even less distance. Barely even more. Look at that. Look at that. I just get that little extra lip if I were to... Oh, never mind. I can get to here. That's actually a little further. Okay. Uh, what do you got down here? Okay, so here I need to make a decision. Settlement income. Plus five. Return count? Sounds really dumb. Construction costs, faction wide, upkeep for all units, faction wide, both gold per turn, recruitment cost, research rate. But if I go here, more control, recruitment costs, research, oath gold. Yeah, guys, I don't know which one's better. Let me know what you think it is, but. I swear you have to go all the way up just to get that little bit more. A little extra research rate. 10%? Oh, here's 10% too. Okay, recruitment cost. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one's a little better. We'll go ahead and buy that. Um, I think we're getting to the point where we can afford a second army. And so I think it's time for that. So we can get our Lord, a Rune Lord, or a Demon Slayer. Now they're only level one. Okay, they're level one here as well. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Campaign movement range, more speed. That sounds pretty good. Physical resistance, 15%. That sounds really freaking good. He's ancient. Okay. I think the extra 15% physical resistance. That sounds really freaking good. Alright, and that got um that done. Okay. Supposedly these are really good. I haven't Played with them yet, though. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, I purchased tier four, but it will take a few turns to get there. Okay. So I can't get the best units right now, but I can get some pretty darn good ones, I think. Uh, global. Okay, so I don't want to do global unless I have to. I mean, in my opinion, I don't mind having a front line of, uh, Pirate Slayers. Let's get two of those. Let's let's see how good they are. Um. Yeah. And then. There we go. We double up, and then we can. 
One, two, three, four. We'll get. You know what? You're right uh, here. Slide. What can I do? Although there is this. Oh, I don't have two decrees anymore. Okay. Reverity, magic. All characters. Sounds really good with the uh, character and all these faction-wide things. So I kind of want to get that. Um, so with the next two openings, I'm going to get one, two. That's what's going to be. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave that engineer there for a while. I'm not going to get heroes just yet because I don't need them right away. Um, so, yeah. It's me. That's true. We could build something here if it's good, but it's not. So we will wait. Uh, the deeps. Oh, that's right. I have another deeps over here, don't I? And you can be leveled up. Nice. What do I want for you? Um... Income, Oath Gold, Growth, Income from Trade Tariffs, Tradeful Resources, Faction Wide. Because this gives growth, I think I'm going to go for this one first, just to kind of help grow this area. And it's relatively close to becoming Tier 4 as well. So, it's pretty good. Um, Bye. Ooh, next turn, I'm going to get a research done. And then after that, I'm going to go over here and get one of these. I don't know which one I want more. Um, let will to play that by ear. I think this one will be the quickest turnaround in terms of good stuff to get. Because then uh, I can have more humans kind of... Uh, be my friend and trade this will be good if I'm about to take another settlement and then this will be good if I'm going to do more um, building of certain things okay cool well we'll see next turn what the best idea is you don't want to be friends with us just yet defensive alliance maybe Maybe I do want to be a defensive alliance with them because. Oh, they're weak as shit, though. And I don't really want to get dragged into war with the chaos if possible. So far, I'm kicking them back, though. Yeah, it looks like he only has two settlements, unfortunately. So. I think from a lore perspective, it'd be good, but uh, I don't think it's a smart thing to do, honestly. Hero not move. Yeah. It is what it is, honestly. For the wisdom of Valea. Alright, they're going back to lick their wounds. A friendly face is always welcome. Defensive Alliance. Psh, they have like no money. They obviously need the money more than I do. Um, okay, we're already trading. 
Sure. I'll just do it for no money. It might make other empires think twice before declaring war on him. He already has what looks like to be war with three different uh three different empires. Now I'm making a second army, but this army will have uh just level one lord and heroes, so it won't be too strong at first in my opinion. So we'll uh we'll have to see how well it will do. Technology, nice. Okay, I think we should do this one, I think. Dwarven embassies. Oh man, it's gonna take 11 turns anyways. Okay, you know what? Just do that first and then 11 turns. Come back to me. Oh man, that's so silly. I don't think there's anything that great up here other than loyalty because I get another High King decree. Yeah, we actually don't get that many High King decrees, so I need to be careful. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this deep thing over here, for example. Um, oh yeah, you you need a defense building right away, and go ahead and get up there as well. Okay, you have the defense building, you have, have, have a defense building. Okay, cool. You... Move here, please. Cool. Because of all those. Ooh, hello. Well, that's great and all, but I think I have a decent garrison to where he wants to attack me. He can. Um, I don't have much in this army, but with the garrison, I should be fine. All right, and now I can build more in the deep stuff. I do have a master engineer present. Uh, yeah, I can afford this. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to make at least 5k next turn. So, you know what? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, guys. Let's let's do it. Since I have a Master Engineer present, I won't get these extra debuffs for the four turns it will take to build this. Once I have this, I'll get more items. Uh, well, better items and more items and more character experience and recruitment rank for the local province. Okay. Um, unit experience gain per turn. Yeah, so it's, it's just going to be all around really good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That sounds great. You're building. Um, doesn't make sense to queue up more units at this point. So we won't. Smoke and mirrors. What does that do again? Gives you more speed. Eh. Uh, feebling foe. Okay. Dithering. Okay, so those are two, like, debuffs. Pendulum might be interesting. Oh, lightning fast. Resistance, okay. Uh, oh, what's all this? More attack. Oh, that's if I want her to be more of a, a fighter than a caster. Honestly, what makes her special is that she is a caster, because I don't really get mages as a uh, dwarf, so. Um, did I do quick deal yet? <sighs> I do not want to do a defensive alliance with you, honestly. You're even weaker than your other Kislev person. Um, it would be kind of cool to see what you have. Do you have? I 
think he only has one settlement. Yeah, he only has one settlement. So... Yeah, and she's not at war with him. With us, your false faith will not hold you back. Yeah, it seems like you actually need the money. So, uh, yeah, there screw it. No. Let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Because then I can kind of see more of the map, which is nice. But honestly, he's probably going to get taken out. But for at least a little bit of time, I can see more of the map. And the Empire is not doing well. Gislev is still holding. It looks like my dwarf brothers are still holding, so that's good. Now, I need to hold against all these rats, but because of this settlement right here, or this quest battle, I do have my main army close by. So I can maybe take my main army down here, clean up the rats, possibly. Sounds like a good idea. All right, turn over. What's happening, pal? Um, join war against them for 3,000 gold? Yeah, sure, buddy. I was curious what he's gonna do. Now, if he gets more armies going, my one town garrison won't matter. But uh, I am recruiting pretty quick. You know what, I should probably go ahead and get those heroes and put them in that army in case they do like three or four armies to attack my one army plus garrison. Having some extra heroes would definitely balance that out. So, uh, depending on my money situation, I think I will do that. Okay. You. Boom. Boom. Cool. Okay, so for four turns, that will be interesting. You. Recruit hero. Physical resistance. Word save. Confident. I'm gonna go that. Dragon Slayer. Bane, aggressive, agile, always versus inventory. Uh, that's that's a tough one. I'm gonna go bonus versus infantry. Yes. Let's do that. Time for a reckoning. And Rune Smith, thank you. Uh, aggressive. Ancient. Go with that one. The All right, cool. Runes are ready. I have the forge fires glowing. Sounds cool. By the king's command. Uh, I kind of like training. Alright, the next turn I'll get him in. Time. Um, I think the best bang for our buck is first getting our front line. Um, and then after that, sixty-three versus nineteen. Okay, that is a lot more damage, but they have. Almost double the range. Huh. Maybe some copters. Maybe some flame boys. But that can be a next turn decision. So yeah, y'all tell me if I have to actually physically be here. That seems like a really shitty um, decision there. 
Uh, following the dragon's recent attack in the mountain, several holds have been destroyed, with countless others on the highest peaks abandoned out of fear or more devastation. Swaths of dwarf refugees have started arriving at your settlements, but far be it from you to cast uh, your downtrodden brother, brother in a way. With some having descended from high altitudes, the refugees are tired, homeless, and angry, yet whatever energy you can put into helping them is not unlimited. You must now focus on appeasing them in the best way possible, however you deem that to be. Offer shelter, putting roots over their heads, and hot food in their bellies can heal a dwarf spirit, at least for a time. You have them join the warriors and be given military rations. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I think they need shelter first, and then we'll do retribution. Uh, word of your kindness towards your homeless kin have spread throughout the mountains, and now it seems that all remaining survivors of the dragon attacks are counting on you to avoid destruction. The continual influx of more and more dwarves into your main holds has caused some overcrowding and has stretched your resources then. The main problem being that most of your new arrivals are still not completely self-sufficient. You must give purpose to the idle Dowie hands or send them greener pastures, lest this problem spills over into another crisis. Uh, expand the hold. Destruction. Uh-huh. Interesting. Or more growth. Uh, I kind of want the more growth. Oh my goodness, that would have been so helpful right in the beginning. Man, I should have gotten that right in the beginning. Darn it. Okay. Wish I, had my on. I need one battle with Cav. Honestly, I'm really surprised I haven't had that yet. Um... Where do I need to go? Alright, so that's like the major settlement. So it wouldn't be bad just to like take on these four settlements. So maybe start this way. Let's get a Roman. Hey. Outpost available. Where is this? Oh dude, you're gonna die soon. No. <laughs> I don't mean to be Debbie Downer, but yeah, no. Yeah, more defenses is always good. Alright, cool. For the wisdom of Valaya. Alrighty, it's almost 2 p.m. That means it's beer time. Oh, they confederated! Nice! That's good to see. That's gonna make them a lot stronger in that area. Interesting happened over there. Good timing. Could you pass the double flange sprocket, please? <laughs> oh, trade agreement. You gonna give me any money? Oh yeah. Thank Very you. well.
Okay, so I'm assuming I'm under attack. No food meat there, please. What? I can't go in. Aye, it is time. For clan honor. And I can't attack. Shoot. Oh my goodness, calm down, calm down. So many notifications. Oh my goodness. Set a core. Okay. So I'll go over here. I'll go to you guys. Demon Slayer. What news, comrade? Uh. Oh, actually, who am I? Oh, I don't have any military alliance, so I don't think I can do a coordination like that. Boris Orsos. Right? Uh, what if I click one of his armies? Yeah, I don't think I can do that unless we're military alliance. I want. Kind of puts me into range. <laughs> Uh, so I'll be exhausted, but my main army Get going. will be right there. And honestly, that's all I need. My axe thirsts for war. So I got a garrison, main army, and a and a. Summon me if you dare. <laughs> You ran away. What and guess what I'm gonna do? Now I'm gonna Strength put all my heroes in that army. Slayer, yes, it shall That's be gonna done. make it even more powerful. Also, now that I know they're getting really uppity. Okay, well, when I get more followers and whatnot, I'll I'll add them in. Yeah, getting three more units there is good. You come to four heartbeats, or five if you get excited. Aye. Yes. Okay. Well. The past is the past. Uh, I think that is good to go. Okay, you're being built. And then, I think the last thing I wanted was you. Yeah. More growth and more income. Go ahead and grab that. Um, I don't think we need to build these. I think we probably want to get to tier 5 first. With our main settlement. Um, we're going to need... I don't know how much growth, but it's going to be a good amount. How are you doing? Wow, I can hit that. Okay, cool. We'll take much goal. Could have done with his wars. To war. Yeah, I'm keeping you there until that one thing is done, and I'll probably bring you over here to the second army. Uh, excuse me. I've got a great idea for no, no. Oops. It's not what I meant to press. Um, does anyone want to do anything? Non-aggression pact. Yeah, sure, buddy. Come then. Only Sigmar's god Ulrich can. Cool. We are slowly befriending humans and Dowie. This live, Bretonia, all that jazz. Uh, Lair of the Troll King, something can be built here? Oh, yeah. You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and build this just to make it that much more defensive. It does give a little bit more growth. Not that much. Growth plus 30? Growth plus 13? That doesn't make sense. What the F? What? 200? Okay, it gives you like a little bit more money. Mm -hmm. 
something like like plus 40 gold but that's about it okay so you do not want to level up the tier four until um until you have all your growth stuff ready to go that's what i'm saying Oh wow, I actually have a decent amount of money. Um, wow, okay, yeah, I'm actually having a good amount of money now. Hmm. Mm. Well, be nice to have like one or two armies go through here and I just collect all of these spots. That'd be kind of nice. Should I go ahead and do that? <laughs> Wealthy. Interesting. I'm gonna say screw it. I think we're doing good. Um, money-wise, so... I'm gonna say let's go ahead and do it. Um, we can wait a turn or two. Or, um... I'm gonna try these. We can wait a turn or two for uh, heroes. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and upgrade this just in case if I want some more options for um, recruitment wise. Hero not time. moved. Yeah, that's fine. Building upgrade available. Uh, skip that. Outpost available. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Okay, well, I'm at the, well, close to the hour mark, so I'm going to end it here because I think some schnit is about to go down. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.